All right, today we're on a mission. We have to review Kitona dog food. This is by request, and it is a very important review because this is becoming an ever more popular dog food. So let's give everybody an honest review of Kitona dog food. Now, as always, we're gonna start with negatives, but before we even get into that, let's first say that the founder and CEO of Kitona did a really cool thing. He actually had some personal experiences where he saw dogs in his family, his own dogs, fall victim to what he considers a plague among modern day dogs, and that is obesity. Obesity specifically caused by really bad dog food. So from his experiences, he wrote this book and he decided to start his own dog food company and give dog parents a way to feed their pups really good food. However, we need to start with the negatives. Unfortunately, there are a lot. But let's start with number one, with number one. So number one, Ketona dog food is not actually ketogenic. It's not keto dog food. It is a high protein, low carb, moderately low fat food. There's nothing wrong with that in theory. If you wanna give your dog a low carb dog food, great. However, when your site is called Keto Naturals and your food is called Ketona, it gives the impression that it is a ketogenic dog food. For anybody watching who doesn't understand the difference, a keto diet is not just about removing all carbs and eating a lot of protein. In fact, a ketogenic diet is moderate to low protein. We'd say moderate protein in this case. High fat, almost zero carbs. You're gonna go for a 70% fat to 30% protein ratio. That's just not happening with Katona dog food, unfortunately. And again, a low carb, high protein dog food is great, but it is extremely misleading to have your name be Keto Naturals and your food Katona when you're not a ketogenic dog food. In general, most dog parents are very busy. They're working, they probably have human children, they have other dogs, they have cats, whatever. It's a busy life. Not everybody has the time to go digging through the ingredients list, doing calculations. And again, a lot of people want their dog to be on low carb. They want their dog to be on keto, whether they have an autoimmune disorder or cancer or something, or they're just older and you want to eliminate carbs completely and get them in, in ketosis, they may not know about the 70-30 rule or even going as high as 80-20. And here's this food that is just not ketogenic. I feel that this is an enormous negative because it is so misleading. And frankly, it seems to me misleading on purpose. And that is unforgivable. Now, what about number two? This food is loaded with pea protein and ground peas. Why? First of all, peas, ground peas, pea protein have been linked, not been proven, but it has been linked to something called DCM, which can cause your dog's heart to stop. Certain breeds are predisposed to this problem. Whether or not the link is, is absolutely proven or not, why would you even take a risk? And the other problem is, pea protein is put in in an attempt to save money in processing. It's extremely cheap. What do you think is more expensive to put into a dog's food? Pea protein, ground peas, or something like beef, chicken, fish, pork, real protein. This food only has one real protein. Their chicken formula obviously has chicken, it's the first ingredient, but then we're straight into ground peas and pea protein, and that is to me, again, a little bit deceptive. Pea protein is not even a good source of bioavailable protein. Yes, when combined with a complete protein, it's a little bit better, but why would you give your dog anything that one, could be harmful, and two, isn't super digestible. It's not really bioavailable. And here's the other problem, right? This food is not cheap. As you can see on the screen, for a 12 kilo bag, about 24, 25 pounds, it is $125. Now, for a dog like maybe here, that might be a little more than a month. For some of the bigger dogs who are milling around in the back, we might have to buy two bags for them. So are we gonna spend $250, 200 euro on a dog food that is mostly pea protein? Absolutely not. That is right there a no buy for me. But we have more, so what's number three? Number three, and this is a luxury that really isn't a luxury anymore with the state of the dog food industry, and the number three is that Katona is not human grade. Now, human grade means that that food could be sold to and given to humans. It also means that at least one human uh, food is produced at the facility. So even if it's not human grade, 
for that reason, most companies will point it out. For example, Simple Food Project states specifically on their website, they're not human grade only because they don't produce any human products, but they would be otherwise. They're considered grocery grade. With Katona, we don't know, and I'm not saying that they're specifically putting bad meat in, but whenever it's not specified and they use the term natural on their site, on the bag, natural means absolutely nothing anywhere on this planet. Not in North America, not in Europe, not in Asia. It is an undefined term. I gotta go out into my yard right now, gather up a bunch of dog duties, put it in a bag. That's natural. There's no definition for this term. So when I see a protein like chicken or beef or whatever they're using and it's not defined, I don't know if it's spoiled. I don't know if it's coming from the 4Ds, which are dead, dying, or diseased animals. A lot of times with dog food companies, they will get food from restaurants that's no longer fit for human consumption. Same thing for from big supermarkets. Anybody who's seen Tiger King, when they bring in those trucks from Walmart and Target, I think, and it's all food that was gonna spoil because they can't sell it to people anymore, so they get the truckload for super cheap, that's the same crap that goes into most dog foods. I don't know if that's what's going on with the Katona. However, the fact that they don't specify that it's not gives me a lot of pause with saying, okay, this is a good food to feed your dog, right? You're not gonna eat that. And again, at $125 for 12 kilos or 25 pounds, that, that's just not gonna cut it. So are there any benefits to this food? Did you see any benefits? Yes. So there's no soy, corn, wheat, no sweet potatoes, which sweet potatoes aren't a terrible ingredient when made at home, but why specify no sweet potatoes when you're then going to include peas and pea protein? It's dangerous and completely unnecessary. So overall, this is an absolute pass, no buy on Katona. It's unfortunate and it's disappointing because after reading the CEO's book, I thought, wow, this is somebody who's gonna really put a lot of effort in. And I think what happened is business got in the way of vision in this, in this case. So we're gonna pass. How many pulls? Zero. Absolutely zero. So many better options. You can, if you want keto dog food, you can go with visionary. You can go with a low carb version, which isn't always keto and that is the simple food project. Or obviously you can make homemade dog food, right? And no, we don't make any money from those dog food companies. So would you like to give everybody the playlist link right above us here to the reviews for the Simple Food Project and Visionary Pet Foods? What do you think? Treat first, then the thing? Got it. Good job. And we'll see you next time.